So, the next important organism we are going to talk is Haemophilus influenza. What is the key word about it? Pleomorphic. From cocobacilli, a simple round shaped cocobacilli, it can be even in a long slender filaments. Very few organisms have such multiple forms. Right? So, pleomorphic in nature is the buzzword about uh, Haemophilus influenza. That is from microbiology point of view. Capsule. The capsule is made up of polyribose phosphate. A lot of times, question is asked, polyribose phosphate capsule is being found, what is the organism? Or which vaccine is having a polyribose phosphate containing capsule? What is your answer? Hemophilus influenza. And uh, there are a lot of subtypes based on the capsule. But this type B is a very bad guy. So that's the reason we have developed a vaccine specially towards the capsular type B. Hib vaccine is what need to be remembered. Hib type B is the one in Haemophilus influenza which is considered to be the most important pathogen in the young children. But presence of capsule is not compulsory feature for every H influenza. They can be capsulated, non-capsulated also. So these unencapsulated strains are called as non-typeable strains. Do we need to worry about them, doctor? Yes. When you are a geriatric physician in a geriatric clinic, older adults, pneumonia can be caused by non-typeable strains of the H influenza, very dangerous infections. Similarly, somebody is having COPD, chronic lung disease. Then also we need to remember non-typeable, uncapsulated strains of the H influenza. But H influenza otherwise is a normal colonizer in our conjunctiva, genital tract and uh, respiratory tract everywhere. It's a part of the flora, upper respiratory tract. And the only natural host is not a buffalo, not a pig, but only human for the H influenza, poor fellow. And it is the nasal droplets, it is being transmitted. And you remember IgA protease. Which organism they remembered IgA protease? Streptococcus? Streptococcus? IgA protease? You remember? Right? So, immunoglobulin A protease is produced by this organism. Can you explain why it is a colonizer? Yes, sir. What is the only immunity for us in our respiratory and gastrointestinal tract to fight an infection? Immunoglobulin A. Police is expected to patrol it. If that police is himself is being beaten and killed and pickpocketed, there is the safety. Not there, no. That's the reason sometimes robbers and police will be colonizing each other. They will be the best friends. So, that's the reason if there is any theft in a VIP's home, the police perfectly knows whom to pick up and bring. Because already the rowdy cheaters are already under the list. So, even IgA protease producing organism it is. Hence, it is able to stay like a colonizer. Normally, it will say, I won't do anything. I will stay, it will make an agreement with the immunoglobulin A. So, what are the diseases caused by H influenza? We discussed in a great length and breadth ENT, ear, nose, throat. Otitis media, sinusitis, epiglottitis, bronchopneumonia. So, from the upper respiratory tract, it is easy for it to go into lower respiratory tract. So, into the sinus, into the ears, into the epiglottis, bronchopneumonia, expected out of it. But sometimes, it can go through bloodstream and can lead to cellulitis, meningitis and septic arthritis. And if the baby did not receive, the child did not receive the Hib B vaccination, 
then it can lead to bacterial meningitis in the case of the very young children is what need to be remembered. But because of the very prevalent practice of giving hip vaccine in the pediatric clinic, the incidence has come down, meningitis due to H-influenza. And uh, this H-influenza, whenever it leads to meningitis in a pediatric patient, one of the dirty complications, worst complication is development of deafness. That's the reason H-influenza meningitis if it is, after the patient recovers, you should get a auditory examination done because deafness is a very important complication which can develop in H-influenza meningitis. So, Dr. Meningitis can be caused by type B organisms, epiglottitis also, bacteremia also, but pneumonia, tracheobronchitis and sinusitis are generally non-typable strains. It can lead to conjunctivitis and uh, hemophilus other strain is Ducrei, which we, we are going to study in the sexually transmitted diseases. So, this is the hip vaccine that revolutionized and brought down historically the incidence of the hip meningitis is what you need to remember. So, how do you want to grow H influenza is the next very, very important question. <coughs> uh, yeah. What's up? Is there any problem in the online streaming or local issue? Huh? Is the streaming okay for others or only few people are having a stuttering? Okay. We need to grow H influenza on the chocolate agar. Why it love to eat chocolates? Is there any special reason? Yes, sir. H influenza, for it to grow, it has some special requirements. You are not happy with uh, regular biryani. You want dumb biryani. Along with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you will order, no? So, what is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 extra ordered by H influenza? Hemin factor, hemin which is called factor X. Nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, NAD plus which is called factor V. These are the two special factors which are required for the H influenza. Lot of times this was asked in the exam. <coughs> This notes is given, no? Not yet given? Please give the notes, print out to the everybody. Don't, uh, you should not use pens. Are they? If you use pens to jot, it is an insult for me. Why? Already it is there in textbook. From textbook, we made it into, to come into PowerPoint. From PowerPoint, once more you writing on a paper is, uh, Non-environmental activity of uh, butchering the woods, right doctor? So, don't do, enjoy, relax, try to tuck it into your brain if you feel it is also important as much as me. If you feel it is not really important, don't think whatever I tell is important. Sometimes there will be a lot of non-important things, right? Suppose if I sneeze, that is not important. So, but if you start writing notes, we will have a habit of putting two semicolons whenever the professor sneezes. So, then uh, professor coughs, another two semicolons because that writing habit is very bad habit. So, don't do that. We will give you the notes. It is uh, uploaded. That's right. <coughs> yeah, Prashant is uh, telling, sir, first let us discuss all culture media so that it become easy for us. Less tension, anxiety is there. To remember, yeah, we will do that tomorrow. Microbiology laboratory is a topic we will discuss tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we'll start a little early tomorrow. 5.30 we'll start. Don't worry. Now, why chocolate? This is the typical growth of the hemophilus influence on the chocolate agar. Because, um, in the chocolate agar, there is a lysis of the blood cells. The lysed blood cells will release this hemin and NAD, factor 5 and 10, V and X, whatever you call it. What do you call? 
5 and 10 or v and x or v and x what do you call generally i don't know i'm not sure because i never attended as an undergraduate to a proper microbiology class all classes were bunked at the end we used to pay 100 rupees bribe to the uh, attendance fellow secretary and uh, try to pass exam so <clears throat> try to become eligible to exam nobody will pass uh, so right now chocolate agar you should not forget now if you do gram staining of the csf pleomorphic gram negative cocobacilli is grown if the clinical vnet in the exam says you will only think of h influenza you can also discover the type b capsule of the hemophilus influenza in the csf just like pneumococcus you can use a quellens reaction to demonstrate by using a anti sera to the type b of the capsule and uh, you can also use latest agglutination counter current immuno electrophoresis elisa etc in order to discover that capsular antigen how can you prevent it doctor you can give a vaccination for that hip now comes a very important question whom do you want to give obviously the most vulnerable are the pediatric patients so younger than 2 years of age and it contains that polyribozyme phosphate capsular carbohydrate which is conjugated with the carrier protein it's a conjugated vaccine hip vaccine yesterday we discussed no the various types of vaccinations so we give rifampicin prophylactically for those who have contacted a potential infected case of the h influenza rifampicin is having a role is what you have to ultimately remember so that's all the story doctor what are the buzzwords crp capsule hip vaccine factor v and x chocolate agar rifampicin so totally not more than 10 buzzwords pleomorphic cocobacilli is what you are going to remember